<clears throat> See, if raising my seat helps my camera angle. Oh, it's a quick release, but she's on there good. Okay, I got it. Yeah, let's go up like two inches. It's proper hips. Hip height adjustment. I don't know why it was as low as it was. Okay. Got a couple things different. Blend. Oh, that feels much better. So, got some headwind here. I got my bike all charged up. I was gonna do a range test. And then I changed my mind. And I don't like storing my trailer with a full charge. And then I remembered there's a few things I haven't tried yet that I need to test out before I go on a long adventure. One is last time I tried to charge my scooter battery or my e-bike battery off the solar battery. I only had one 12 volt on it and uh, I could get about, I don't know, one third of a charge from it. Maybe a half a charge from it. Wasn't that bad. But uh, now I have two 12 volts on it. It shouldn't drop as much. Like at the initial start. I don't know, I got a pretty good charge from one. It was more than half. But we'll say half when I get my upgraded battery. And two of them should be able to give me a full charge. And uh, the other thing I haven't tested out yet is my kettle. I can't go camping if I can't have a coffee because that's like a, one of my that's one of my huge addictions is coffee. going slow because I don't like the bouncing but uh, my battery pack's got padding. It can handle it, right? It's a perfect day for testing this because it's sunny. But there's a bit of a breeze and it's really cool. Slinging mud everywhere. Oh, crappy battery already cut it. The seat adjustment helps much better. I'm trying to get near a spot up here that's uh, near the train track so I can sit down. Wow, I can't believe my battery cut out. Maybe three blocks away from my house. Oh, that's a dirty panel. Got this camera off. See, it's still recording. I have to flip it on the editor. Oh. Okay. Stuff packed here. Stuff packed there. No green break item. I was flinging mud everywhere. The cleaner the panels, the more power. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the uh, inverter and kettle set up. Okay, tilted my panels into the sun. Got 13.8 volts with the inverter on, but nothing plugged in. I've been using this about three times a day for a month now. I use it in my bedroom. Works really good. I think it was uh, 30 bucks, I don't even know.
my mic fell off, but the 400 watt kettle is now running off the 500 watt inverter. It's a thousand watt max for a short burst and 500 watt continuous. So now we'll just see how long that takes to boil. As soon as I turn the kettle on, you can hear the inverter ramp up. So, I make my coffee kind of strange using a funnel and a coffee filter because I like my hand pour coffee and I just don't have the proper, there's a proper little filter thing you can get for your cup. But the funnel works just fine. I had to put the camera down for a sec. Well, I drink my coffee black, but uh, I usually put sugar in it. I forgot sugar. Sometimes I don't need it though. Let's see how this is doing. It's been about four minutes. Pretty hot to the touch. We have 12.3 volts, so that drains it pretty hard. I think the sunlight helps. Like, when I go on a long adventure, I'm sure my water's gonna get pretty warm before I even throw it in the kettle. When I'm sitting in my room, it takes maybe seven, eight minutes to boil. Maybe 10 at the max. Depending on how much water you put in it. But it's a 400 watt kettle. It's gonna take some time, that's not much power. Oh, I can start to hear it. It's almost boiling. You can hear it. Still at 12.2 volts. Not quite boiling. It's got an automatic cutoff thing, but still 12.2. Yeah, we got a fierce boil. It's boiling hard. Okay, so I'd say that works pretty good. We are at 12.9 now. Charging back up. So now I think I'm gonna put my scooter battery on for a minute. I'll just pack up my, uh, or no, I need the inverter. Put my kettle away. With this funnel, I don't really have to bloom it because it takes so long to pour anyway. It's slower than using a single, one of the Black & Decker single cup makers. 13 volts. I'm probably not even gonna drink this, but give it one more pour. I'm gonna have a green break, I forgot I brought it. Well, I just made a coffee out in the middle of nowhere using my solar setup. And uh, it's pretty cool to be able to just sit down, have a coffee and charge your bike. Let's test out the solar coffee, see if it's any good. It's not bad not too bad. A little hot on the hot side though. That's how I like my coffee though. It's always best when you have to like, when you can barely even drink it, you know, and you gotta aerate it as you slurp. Once my coffee gets the slightest bit cooled, I don't enjoy it at all. That's when it's like, just get her down. We're at 13.2. So let's see how much the, uh, actually I'm not going to charge my bike. I just need it to rest and balance, I bet. Yep. Those P3 cells, they use 2.5 milliamp cells that I swear can only pull 7 amps per cell. And as soon as you hit the throttle, they start going off balance. And once they're off balance enough, your voltage drops because they don't add up right. And the BMS cuts off. 
So even though they're only 7.5 amp hours, because they're crap cells, you get like maybe 4 amp hours. And I pull 22 amps max. So I think that comes down to 4 minutes for me. 3 minutes. Well, I think that's my test. I'm just gonna pack everything up. Bike at home. I just wanted to make sure it could do a coffee and have a green break out here. I'm gonna have one more quick green break. Enjoy my coffee. Just so addicted to coffee, I couldn't waste it. But yeah, let's get this packed up. Didn't get to my camera in time, but there's a deer running down the train track. Oh, and I can't zoom in or anything. It's really hard to see it, but he's staring at me right now. I'm gonna try to zoom in on post edit. The dough. Yeah, I'm adjusting my mic while talking. It's probably not a good idea. But yeah, that's a pretty big doe down there. And where there's a doe, there's a buck. We're pretty much packed up. I just got that one bag now, battery top. I'm trying to drink my coffee so I can stuff the cup in the bag. I've had enough coffee for today. I'm just gonna dump it. It was kind of a big coffee. Wasn't much left either. I should probably get it off the hill before I try to load more weight in it. I have a pet peeve plastic glittering. You can litter pretty much anything. Put plastic or fiberglass and I won't care. I just stuff that in there. Okay. It fits. Okay, I'm ready. I just gotta reattach my camera meeting. You'll have to flip it and post at it. Okay, well, I guess I'm all ready for an adventure. Even though my battery sucks, it'll just take me forever to get somewhere. So, uh, subscribe. Hit that bell button, make sure it's ringing so you get updates on new videos. Hit the like, comment, tell me what you think. I'm going back home.